All right, we're live. So I thought I'd better start um, sh shooting video of my daily blog posts and we'll strip them out and send them to podcasting as well. So I know not everybody loves to read like I do. So today's blog post, April 7th, 2020. Title is One Hour on Everest. When I was a one, <laughs> when I was a young warthog, when he was a young warthog, I wondered if my biker legs would easily carry me up the treacherous slopes of Mount Everest. Thin air uh, as prep for the Leadville 100. And I thought I had a handle on what it would take to do Everest. And honestly, what it would be like to do the Everest challenge, you know, all 29,029 feet in one day. So I set out for a couple hour ride. The first hour I did 2,800 feet. That's pretty easy to do around here. Um, but the gradients around here are quite steep and they're pretty difficult to do seated for any kind of extended period or even a high cadence in traditional road gearing. It's also pretty tricky and hard to go hands off and eat on the descent. So a lot of questions surface, like what would be the best gradient, uh, the best time of day? Uh, nutrition strategy, a long 30 to 60 minute climb or something shorter in the 12 to 20 minute range. And uh, where, you know, where around here is a shaded climb uh, or a climb that would have light wind all day long or even a favorable wind. How about that? And then, of course, what gears to run. After the first hour of dedicated climbing, I uh, had a circuitous route home and knocked out another 1,600 feet. So I think on average I could do 2,000 feet per hour. I don't think that would kill me, which would mean around 15 hours. And that would be, you know, a good six and a half hours longer than Leadville or Lodija, which are two good barometers, right? Leadville, 100-mile 100 mountain, 100 mile mountain bike race, and Lodija, 200-mile 200 200 road race. I've done both of them, and... and um, I think it would be a massive challenge. It would make those events look silly. Uh, to start, I'm going to do a 29,000, 29 foot week in the next coming weeks to see what that's like. That would be about 50% more climbing than I've ever done in a week. I think I've done a couple of 20,000 foot weeks. And it'd be three, about 3x my typical week. My typical week is 10 to, to yeah, sometimes 15,000 feet, but you can right around the 10 to 12,000. I usually end up with about 600,000 feet per year. So I don't know if there's a PR tracker for that, but I do know that our t-shirts get KOMs for being the softest on the planet. Trust me, you buy one of these t-shirts, they will be your all-time favorites. The link, which you cannot see, but I will paste in the notes, is pedalindustries.com slash pages slash t-shirts. And today, and only today... You buy one and get one free. So the code is for that is is one, the letter, the numeral one day. One that's four digits, right? One D A Y. And um, also my uh, workout for today, uh, weighed 164 pounds, did 50 pull-ups. I slept seven and 0.75 hours. And you can follow me on Strava. And that is it for today. Uh, make it a good one. See ya.